What if I just walked off the edge? In his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, oh, Stanley. No. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Hmm. This one says 11.20. Are we waiting? Hmm. No. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, we're all right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. Shush. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Let's try and escape this time. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But what if I do this? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. No. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. Yes. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, well, uh, da, 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 da. from here it's, um, left. Left. Hmm. Oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see, we went down right, left, down, <laughs> left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. <laughs> okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't think I've missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? No, I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh, hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. <gasps> Let's find the story. Story? Right this way? Uh, 
I don't want to go there. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? No. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. So okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Oh. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. What could, what it, could mean? it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh oh. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. I can't even try to open that door. Aha! I knew we'd miss what? something. The story. Here it comes. What? What? No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. What? Uh, this is creepy. Now this. Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Yes. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! <gasps> Congratulations! I know you I put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some hey. people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. No. <laughs> all right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Trademark. Okay. There's so many songs about the yellow brick road going through my head, and I can't sing any of them. <laughs> okay. But imagine that I'm pulling from The Wiz, The Wizard of Oz, and Elton John all at once. Oh, I left the line. Whoops. My bad. Oh, I can go in here now! Solitaire! I can't turn that one off. Lame. Okay. This is fun. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, <laughs> here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. 
Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Music, go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure really? you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. A play my chain? It's a fern. It's kind of like two ferns. Okay. Wait, but we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. <laughs> Okay. You know what, Stanley? Oh. I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Nothing. We're intelligent people, right? Why yes. can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? <gasps> New things. Now! Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. I'm what do you want our story to be? But... Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it what? might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Um... Oh, no, not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. NTM. <laughs> okay, bye, line. Ooh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Destiny. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. What? Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all <laughs> one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? The Am I just supposed to forget? Schedule. Well, what if I don't want to forget? It's about research. My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall, 
Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time to stopped? Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Oh my goodness. This is different. Hmm. But... This is... What? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um, okay. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. <laughs> Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Kill surprise. <laughs> So I thought the narrator was supposed to forget about the previous restarts, though. I mean, it's still new, I guess. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? But I already know now. Bam. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Nothing. Uh, hmm. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he 
would dismantle the controls once and for all. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was... Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what yeah. you wanted? Control? Yeah. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you oh, well. want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Oh, In no. the event that this machine is activated <gasps> without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your okay. time to shine. You are the star. It's I'm your sorry. story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where no. we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? Yes. A moment of solace before you're obliterated? All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Incorrect. Sometimes when I tell it, oh, I simply three. let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone three. inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I, I, I have three. to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, okay. only 34 seconds left. But I'm no. enjoying this so much. You know uh, what? To hell with it. Two? I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are oh. precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have oh. no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did yeah. you just assume when you saw that timer that something uh. in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, Shoot. look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you oh, no. can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Ah. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say, happily ever up. 
end is never the end. I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will probably play this more in my spare time. I think it's very cute and fun, and I think you guys should play it in your spare time as well. Thanks for joining me. See you next time, everybody.